Oh man, they grabbed it. Oh man, I was just about to go over here. All right, there's someone on my tail, but I want to get the shot of this real quick here because he's right behind me. We got ourselves a nice entry table and poinsettias. And then next up, we're going to go down by where that guy is just coming out of the trash cans. I might have to hit the snaps because there's another car with it. Uh, I think they're unloading. Hold on one second. Let's go ahead and see what we got right over here. All right. Um, that is a scanner a tripod and some decoration pieces uh yeah okay 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 it's kind of funny some people i see literally are dumping their stuff from like 2002 you know my buddy king p he sent me this advertisement of uh this person was selling a uh entertainment center and a tube tv for five dollars <laughs> and i was like just donate it i think this is the same one i think someone took it and then probably put it back. Maybe their child was uh, too big for it. There's actually, that's actually a pretty decent barbecue. Um, I don't know if that's, yeah, it is propane. It has a little drop spout to it. Uh, but it looks like it's in pretty decent condition. All right, we got ourselves uh, a hard shell suitcase. Sorry, it's a little bit dark there. Uh, and what looks to be a puppy grate. This is actually a really nice piece. This is our second entryway wooden thing we have found uh today alone look at the rivets on the wood that's just a gorgeous entryway where you throw your keys on it gorgeous live right here with you it is time to dive come on hey hey i see a plastic something or other that's cardboard that's recyclable so technically that did work all righty here on our dumpster diving tour we have a pair of leather boots uh, some clothing there, and then a water thing, but I don't think there's any waters in there, though. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and skip out on that, but nonetheless, not too shabby. These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. Someday these boots are going to walk all over you. You know, in elementary school, I was in the choir, and they said, Chris... Are you an alto or a soprano? And I said, give me that E minor plus the E sharp in a low beat form. And we just got after it. All of a sudden, they're like, you need to go to the New York School of Institution of Music. You are phenomenal. And I said, I know. <laughs> I was in fifth grade and I said, I know. You know why? I'm too blessed to be stressed. Well, we got a pillow over here. Um, uh, Alexa. What's going on with this pillow? I don't know about that. I'll tell you what, that was 1990s all over again. Beautiful couch nonetheless. I wanted to show you this, guys, real quick. We got a whole entire bag full of stuffed animals and a small Olaf is right on the top. <laughs> uh, I might just throw him in the back. I don't know. I got a big one already. There's oh, there's mini mouse and everything. Uh, I don't know if I want to touch any of that stuff. Bummer. That's that's a little one. I would have a little one and a big one. All right, let me think about that. Right now, it's kind of like, eh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, eh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta we gotta yeah, we gotta play cool. Beautiful artwork. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this. We got a area carpet rug. Um, uh, some nice paintings might go in for a closer look um eh, i kind of have all the ones i need the one in the back looks kind of nice just the frame alone and if you look carefully you can actually see that that's an artesian rug probably worth at least a thousand dollars oh wow i mean that's like 16 large pieces i see it from here what do we got there's somebody right there what is that whoa bed frame we'll uh We'll cruise around and get another shot of that. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. Headboard, coffee maker. Yeah, you know, it's for the kids. You know what I'm saying? It's for the kids, a little play thing. A little computer on the, uh, the edge there. Whoa, whoa. All right, we got some hangers and some kitchen shelving metal things. Look at this toy, though. I like this toy. Wow, that's it right there. 
That is an old antique lamp stand. Pick that up. See? See right here, King P. Why would you pay $5 for a tube TV when there's one right here for free? Not to mention one of those Vissel vacuum vacuum things. Alrighty, we picked up a nice box, a nice little router, looks like an expensive one as well. Some electronics, uh, it was a Samsung wireless charger, and uh, some earphones. Of course, we will totally sanitize any of that stuff. We just grabbed the box, and even though I did touch the box, I literally douse my hands in isopropyl alcohol after I touch anything. I try not to touch anything, but again, I douse my hands and I probably use way too much, but I don't touch my face either. So let's continue. Oh man, they grabbed it. Oh man, I was just about to go over here. Good for them though. Let's see if there's any other action. Whoa, whoa, we got a Schwinn bike. A Schwinn exercise bike. You gotta be fast on the draw here, folks. Fast on the draw. Wow, Schwinn exercise bike. That has to be worth at least, what, three, 4,000 Skittles? You know it's a good day when you got yourself some boots and an office chair. Now that's looking real, real crispy. Wow, got myself a beautiful curved Samsung monitor. I think that's at least 24, 27. Uh, and then this was actually inside the cans. It's a fluid head tripod, very nice tripod. And then a lot of older electronics with some pop-up shades here. Now there was a ton of older electronics uh, that was in the white one over here. And again, a lot of electronics from probably 98 to like 0203. So again, I think people are definitely getting rid of a lot of older electronics. I think they're just, they're home and they have the time to dig through all this stuff that's probably been sitting in their garage for years. But that was a blessing, thank you, Lord. Oh, and I almost forgot what I pointed to was a 15 pound dumbbell. That is gold right now. I'm talking about like, that's kind of crazy they got rid of that because literally apartment gyms are closed. Gyms are closed. Like the only way you're gonna work out with weights is if you know somebody who has them or you have them. Absolutely wild. I mean, that literally is gold. A lot of people getting rid of like some sort of desks. I don't think that's a piece of exercise equipment. A lot of action. Here we go, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we got that chair still back there, uh, a green plastic bin, a cat perch, uh, just some leftover stuff from last week. Looks like a Christmas decoration bin, nice big old heap of trash. All right, looking good. Okay, we got ourselves a Chester drawer with two, uh, looks like golfing hats on top. Rolling it backwards a little bit, mm, just some trash. But let's go ahead and roll it forward. Nobody's taking that little cute bench still. And then you have this beautiful table. Oh, wow. With like four beautiful chairs. Let me just go shine some light on that real quick. Just phenomenal. That's $150, $200 all day, folks. I'm talking about not just one day, I'm talking all day. 
This poor gaming chair is like the gaming chair that will never get picked up. Ah, man, this stuff isn't working. Poop emoji. Oh, man, I gotta go. I gotta go bad. I gotta go bad. Poop emoji. Oh, no. You know I had Taco Bell last night. What are we supposed to do? Shawshank Redemption going on up here? I had the bell. I got the wrath of the bell. I gotta go, baby. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.